G'day guys. I've had a lot of interest recently. I've had quite a few messages from some of my followers on Facebook and YouTube amongst other platforms and some people have been looking for some recommendations for some fictional books or fantasy books uh, particularly in this period where it's all a bit crazy. So I thought I'd read out some really good books. Let's take a look. Stuart Bin's book, Conquest. This is a really amazing read. Uh, it's incredibly well put together. He's used a lot of imagination, but many, many, many of the characters are actually real. And the interactions between the characters are very plausible, if not realistic. Uh, and it describes the events that led up to the Norman Conquest of England. Highly recommend this book. It also includes some of the Anglo-Saxon resistance on the other side of the invasion. I managed to pick this up second hand for around about £5. That's $10 Australian. Not a bad book at all. Highly recommend it. I bought this book a couple of years ago for my eldest daughter who's now ten and a half. Fantastic book. This is called The Golden Amulet and it is an Anglo-Saxon adventure. A really interesting read and I just highly, highly recommend this to anyone who's into perhaps some of the whole kind of um, medieval fiction and looking for a book that's suitable for someone who's in the realm of kind of 8 to 12 years old. This is a good read. I'm going to do this as a batch. Um, this is by Wayne Grant. He does a series of five books and they cover uh, the story of a young man or a late teenager, I guess, uh, by our standards, and it covers from uh, the story, which I guess is kind of like uh, 11th century or so, and it progresses through from when this guy is quite young and he's out poaching deer, and it goes right through, um, and he becomes kind of like a stalwart for the for the royal family. Really interesting series of books really good for someone who's in that age group of around about let's say 12 to 15 perhaps younger depends on how well they are for um i guess their ability to read and understand but there we go i'm going to put all of this in the description below please have a read brian wood's northlanders now this is a graphic novel so it's not a storybook as such but really good for someone who's in their kind of early teens or so. Really fascinating, really good to look at. Quite, um, quite fascinating pictures too, so I really like this. Uh, and I really recommend it for, for people who are looking for uh, some suggestions on books for their kids to read. I've had these books since I was maybe eight. <laughs> That's a long time ago. <laughs> This is the C.S. Lewis collection of Narnia, uh, all seven books. Fascinating read, really good. I loved it. Um, and I've read these books, I don't know, 20 times, 30 times, probably more. Um, I read them to my kids uh, about a year ago. And uh, now that I've picked them up, I'll probably read them again. On the subject of medieval mythology and medieval fiction, who could possibly go past this book? That is The Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien. <laughs> um, fascinating book. I didn't pick this up until I was in my 20s, I think. I don't know why. Um, but it is a really great book to have. And I really, really recommend it. Um, they're redoing The Hobbit as a series, I believe. I don't know much about it yet. It is starting to be filmed very soon. So uh, anyone who's interested, apparently, as acting as a dwarf or 
as a dwarf or an elf, uh, might want to get in touch with the producers. They are recruiting. Alrighty, go guys. The next is The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien as well. Um, this is a book that was written again for kids around about the sort of age of seven or eight originally. Um, I found the the movie series probably a bit stretched and they added too much into it. Maybe one day I'll do a review of that, who knows, but um, the Hobbit book is really fascinating and there are a couple of different variations. I'd love to know what your recommendations are for medieval fiction books. Please leave that in a comment below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.